Nailed it. guys I'm in the car on my way to the gym I have my zip fizz it is fruit punch today it is delicious I am filming in the car because my roommate works in higher education and yesterday was their last day of school for the rest of the year so she is sleeping in living her best life and it's just a regular Wednesday for me and I'm only mildly super bitter about it. So I'm gonna go to the gym and walk on the treadmill and then I'm heading into the shop today. Hey, let's go. Look at my poor precious Maddie. You guys, Maddie had to go to the vet yesterday because she has all these waxy cysts on her body and they were causing her irritation. So they had to like shave down where they were. And now she's all patchy and like, I'm shook. My heart's broken. But she's still okay. She's still a happy girl. And yep, going to her happy place, yep. You guys, I am in Sam's Club because I need to buy some meatballs for our family Christmas party this Saturday. And I just put in an order for a cake. And like, today is what, freaking Wednesday? And I got samples all over the place. I will say, I am indulging a bit and I just got like a pita with some hummus and like, I'm gonna kill this. Like, all carbs. Don't look if you're triggered. Mm. It's so crunchy. Mm. Look guys, make the choices that are good for you during the holidays, okay? I loosen the reins a little bit. So I might go over on carbs, but I don't overeat. That's the huge thing. No binging, no stuffing yourself to your full. And like, I might just enjoy me some other samples if I happen to pass by. Do what works for you. Oh my God, pita chips. Hey guys, I've just been working all day and when I, when I wasn't running errands, you know what I'm talking about? But I'm having my burger, it is 5.30, so I am watching Murder She Ate and so I wanna pay attention. So I will talk to you guys when I get home. 7.27, go ahead and say what time it is. 7.27. Okay, well we left work and we're in the mall, aka the best and worst place to be during this time of year. So I'm gonna buy some Christmas presents and well, I'm gonna watch her buy stuff probably, but like, it's still good to be oot in a boot with the people. Anything? Okay, all right, all right. Damn it guys, you know what I just remembered? I definitely left the meatballs in the freezer at the shop, see? This is why you always put your keys in the freezer so you don't forget the meatballs. Pissed. Hey guys, I am back from the mall and I'm ready to go to sleep. So I'm gonna get in bed early. I'll probably once again watch 10 years worth of Insta stories. Something I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I alluded to this earlier a little bit, but this past week and, and next week, my goals aren't necessarily to like 100% be on track uh, with meal prep. And that also includes not eating keto. I had Long John Silver's today and it was delicious. So I do keto for weight loss. Yes, it has some benefits for my autoimmune disease. It has anti-inflammatory properties, but the main reason I started was to lose weight. And I am at the point where these next two weeks, my goal is not weight loss. It is weight maintenance and it's enjoying the holiday. And so if I can maintain my weight, or even if I gain a pound or two, I am okay with that. My goal is to not binge and to not fixate on food. It's to enjoy a treat when I want a treat. It's to eat food that I normally wouldn't eat, but it's not to stuff myself. And I can honestly say for the past few days, it has been working and I feel really good. Like I 
A, my stomach hasn't hurt, which I mean, it really might be the almonds, but B, this entire three, four days I really haven't been eating on plan, I have not binged once. I haven't even felt uncomfortably full once. And that is just such a big deal for me because normally when I went off track or I had a cheat day or whatever, it was just, my first thought was, what can I eat to become full immediately? And I would just eat so much of it. And now it's like, I can just eat regular meals. I can have a meal from Long John Silver's and not feel the need to, okay, now let me follow it up with a bag of chips and some ice cream since I'm already off plan. It's, it's being able to not obsess over food and to just enjoy what I want and then move on. Like that little bite of hummus today at Sam's. It tasted good. I moved on to the next thing. I had a sample of pecan pie. Like it was like in one of them, oh my goodness, it was great. And that's the thing, I can accept it and not go buy a whole pie to eat at home later. Like those are the victories that I'm having this week. And I'm honestly really proud of myself and just really focusing on that till the end of the year. Also, I have an off plan meal tomorrow already planned because me and my best friend Richard are going to a Cuban restaurant near my work and then we're going to bingo. So I am very excited, looking forward to tomorrow already. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. And starting next year, I'm gonna be doing them product reviews. Fun fact, my camera is actually propped up on my keto crate right now. Like, it's the gift that keeps on giving. You can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.